Hello, my name is Ayush Ronyan and I am currently studying at class 10 in Sri Mahishan Vidya Pit School and I am 16 years old uh, and I am currently living in Birman and I am today here to represent my view and give a short speech on the topic of space and its sustainability. So, once a famous astrophysicist Carl Sagan said that everything everywhere is waiting for us to be known but in the way of making discoveries exploring outer space we are just unsustaining our space atmosphere the communication satellite radio satellite military satellite and uh, many more other satellites which are sent in the outer space for research communication purpose and uh, for uh, television purpose, entertainment purpose, they all have a lifespan. They don't work forever. They have a lifespan of at least 12 years after they are launched. After that, they just roam like a uh, garbage in Earth outer atmosphere. They revolve around Earth like a garbage, like a space, like a space junk. And due to that, they are caused many problems. And these only garbage uh, space junks which are ro revolving around Earth atmosphere, they are called space debris. And these space debris can cause a many problem of for future of the ex exploring of human in space. Recent incidents caused due to the these space debris was in 2021. In the month of May, a small piece of space debris. A small piece of space debris made a 5 mm of hole in the ISS Canadian robotic arm. Luckily, it doesn't cause any big problem for the astronaut living in the ISS, but it could cause serious problems later in the future. According to the current statistics, there are 100 million small, piece, 100 million small pieces of debris debris are evolving Earth atmosphere, in the Earth atmosphere, outer atmosphere and with an average speed of 5 mm per second the amount of space debris will increase in the coming future and if we don't cure them it will it can cause a big problem but the truth is if we will not stop them then then one day they will stop us from exploring the outer space but the space debris incident of 2021 is not only the one incident which have been done by the space debris the space debris has caused many problems in the past but nowadays scientists has uh, nowadays scientists has uh, uh, taken out resolved some prob some cures for the space debris like uh, one of the solution was making big nets to capture the space debris and keep it in a safe place or making some robotic arms to capture the space debris and to throw out, throw them out but the truth is these are only the theory given by the scientists but it is not being applied practically till now so the thing is we have to apply this practically to remove the space junk but in my case what i think is i think all the uh, all the space agencies of different countries to resemble and make a project or do a mission to make space sustainable uh, and remove the garbage space debris from the space and uh, earth outer atmosphere and uh, keep it in a safe place and make space sustainable for our future missions to be done in space but you know it's in not in our hands by making videos by speaking by giving speeches it cannot be done it have they have to take serious actions against it and you can compare from then to now the concept of sustainability space sustainability was introduced in 1980s but it is not properly applicable till now in 2022 so i think it should be done as fast as possible to make our space sustainable and by saying this i would like to rest my words thanks for listening